hey everybody, Beandrew TV here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another speed build here for Prehistoric Kingdom. So today we're gonna go ahead and build ourselves a nice big cave system that kind of leads into, and you can see the start of it here, leads into a Edmontosaurus and Styracosaurus uh, habitat enclosure there. So yeah, started this on stream, and actually this is all done uh, on one of my live streams there. Just kind of sped up the footage and kind of chopped out when I uh, was sitting there talking to chat and all that other kind of fun stuff there. But uh, yeah, again, we kind of did this uh, live on stream. There you go, new subscriber. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you would like to uh, watch this again, usually, uh, 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. We're either doing like uh, some prehistoric kingdoms, some uh, Rim World, Evil Genius, a uh, whole bunch of fun stuff. Planet Zoo, you just there's a bunch of fun uh, little games coming out and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, if you'd like to join us for these, definitely uh, stop on by for some background noise there. So uh, but yeah, like I said, uh, for the beginning part of this stream, and I cut it out just because I didn't get much done with it, and some of the stuff that I did build with it, um, you'll see a bridge in the background of the enclosure. But a lot of that stuff I got rid of. Just it was kind of a the first few days of the game, and I was still kind of getting my my, uh, my bearings and everything so some of the stuff I built for the habitat wasn't too uh, happy with but this uh, big cave system as you kind of come through there I am very happy with and again just the scalability of the rocks and uh, foliage and everything um, I set up this really cool little uh, pass through this little system again uh, in just a matter of minutes and it's just really really awesome the uh, tool sets that we have to uh, let our creativity just kind of run wild there and um, yeah just you know just the fact that we have you know just different kind of si uh, different trees, but you can resize them, uh, you know, to different sizes and everything. Just makes it so that uh, similar trees, you know, and uh, foliage and all that kind of fun stuff can look way different. So you can get a really big palette going um, with a lot of the same plants and stuff there. So. Uh, but inside of this uh, little cave, we did not leave it blank. You may have seen it uh, real quickly there, but we put down a number of the micro raptor habitats and made them null, so made them invisible, which is an option that we have uh, in the game here. Is that our uh, little exhibit? So we right now we just have the mini exhibit, which kind of leads to believe that we're going to have like a small, medium, large, extra large, maybe. Um, but anyways, yeah, you can turn those and make them null. So you see a great example of it right here as we're adopting a bunch of micro raptors. Um, and yeah, these two little sticks there, those two uh, dead branches, dead trees. Uh, normally would have an atrium around them, but yeah, we've made them null. And I think it fits in really well with this little cave system here. So as you're going through, you just kind of, you can hear and see the birds, you know, uh, flying and squawking around and everything like that. And um, yeah, no, we, we have so many Microraptors uh, in this park at this time because uh, I think I've mentioned it before, but anytime that we need like an exhibit, obviously we only have one exhibit animal, you know, in the game right now. So the Microraptor is basically taking on the role of any exhibit animal that we might have. So if we end up building like um, a house, I have an idea to build like an indoor uh, house. We're probably gonna have a bunch of Microraptor exhibits uh, kind of throughout the area because they're just kind of the only ones that we have right now. So, um, but yeah, no, it's it's really fun to kind of put those in there and kind of just uh, see the uh, potential that we have uh, with the exhibits and everything. And again, it's just, I'm, I love that we have the, um, the option to turn them invisible and uh, make them however we would like to, you know, without having to have a big old box around them and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, here we go kind of building into the Edmontosaurus and Syracosaurus habitat. We don't actually build in the habitat too much more than what you see here. Um, I believe tomorrow or the next episode is going to be uh, building out their habitat and it was a lot of fun to do that. Uh, we did a, um, what was, oh, a wetlands. That's right. We did a wetlands um, exhibit there for them overall. So yeah, it kind of turned into this real big swampy type uh, area. And uh, again, there's one last thing I want to do for it. I haven't built it yet, but there, um, someone had a great idea to build a bridge uh, over across this habitat here, this enclosure. And I think that's a great idea. And that's that's what we have in the habitat right now is uh, you might see it every once in a while is this little uh, modern looking bridge. And it just came out too sleek and too, I don't know, I just, again, I didn't really enjoy it too much. So I did get, end up getting rid of it. But uh, I'll be looking back into a putting across a bridge across this, um, yeah, again, the uh, the enclosure there and, and everything. So, um, and then, yeah, the last little bit that we did on the episode here, um, this was before the recent update that we got uh, yesterday. As of recording this, it was yesterday that we got that. And there was a little bit of a bugaroony that uh, had guests walking up onto the Microraptor um, habitat, I guess. So you'll see that every once in a while here. And uh, what I thought it was is I thought that guests were walking up onto the rocks that I had put in in this little cave system, but no, I guess it's the um, Microraptor uh, exhibit that they're walking up into basically, but that was fixed. So, but anyways, the whole preface to that was 
The last part of this video, and here we go right now, um, is me kind of getting annoyed with the guests walking into or walking off the path. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna make a sign. I have to make a sign that says stop walking on the path. So um, we all know that we have the scalability function for um, you know letters and everything else in the game. But what I was told during um, the middle of my stream is that we can take the uh, anything, the min max of the scaling and push it even further than is kind of in game right now. So if you take an item, and kind of see me doing it here. Um, so you have to take a new group. So we're uh, making a stay, uh, so it's a stay off or um, look out or something like that. Uh, yeah, I think it's stay off. Um, sign here for our guests to stay off of the rocks but you take it and you duplicate it uh yeah you make your sign you duplicate it uh scale it down then you take it again duplicate it then scale it down again if you keep doing that to a group you can scale it down to again infinite uh minimum basically or infinite maximum uh so that you can have something that literally stops existing there it is it's gonna be keep off that's right not stay off keep off um but yeah no, so that was a really cool trick and i think i mentioned that a few times it's just it's such a cool little trick that we can do with you know an already amazing tool set that is the scalability um just kind of gives us another um yeah scaling option for it, essentially to get these teeny teeny tiny itty bitty uh letters here and um <laughs> you can you can literally uh make a computer screen and type up a web page on it or make a keyboard that's uh that's one of the we might look at that in stream but maybe not but i did that on stream i made a keyboard um and <laughs> with the actual letters and stuff so yeah it's just the um the possibilities there are pretty dang um amazing and everything so but yeah that is pretty much the last little bit that we do for um the cave here the last a few minutes of the stream are just kind of yeah here fencing and doing a lot of foliage work just kind of shoring up this micro raptor cave there but yeah like i said the next episode for either tomorrow or whenever it comes out there is going to be focusing on i believe i believe I believe uh the edmontosaurus and the cyracosaurus uh, wetlands swamp kind of habitat there so hey if you are excited to see the swamp habitat there and you are not already be sure to hit the subscribe button so you stay up to date with all the fun prehistoric kingdom uh, alpha builds and everything like that also hit the like button does help out the channel helps out the video a ton there so hey thanks so much everyone for hanging out do appreciate it. enjoy the last minute or so of the time lapse and until the next prehistoric kingdom alpha video. Y'all have a good one.